Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. So here is the Smash Up Munchkin set. It comes in a little bit bigger box than even the base set or the other ones. Not quite as big as the big geeky box, but this will be set on the Munchkin series. This is what the insert would look like. You got a place for your coins and the, all the decks of the cards that you'll be using. So it's a custom insert, even though I use the big geeky box. You will have some fives and some ones that will come in this one additionally. You will also get these dividers, one for each set. The clerics, the dwarves, the elves, the halflings, the mages, the orcs, the thieves, the warriors, treasures, and monsters. These are all double-sided, very large, very nice plastic. Very impressed with these, have been through the whole series. Thank you very much. These are wonderful. We will start out with the sets. We will start with the high rollers, the clerics. You may shuffle a card from your discard pile into your deck. Destroy an undead monster here, or shuffle random minion from your discard pile into your deck. After this base scores, you may move another one of your minions here to another base instead of the discard pile. If your discard pile has at least five cards, place two of them chosen at random into your hand. Now the actions. Place two random cards from your discard into your hand. Choose a random action from each other player's discard pile. You may play one of them as an extra action. Return the others. Choose a base. All minions are plus one. After another base scores, maybe one of your minions, and that's a pretty common one, to move them from there to an, another base instead of your discard. Destroy an action on a base or a minion. All minions plus one. A minion has no power to the base it's on, and the minion loses its abilities. This is what I would call a pretty standard little set. Very easy to learn. Uh, the uh, clerics are a very easy, maybe a beginner level deck. Next, we will take a look at the dwarves. You will see here, if the minion has a treasure card on it, plus two power. Place a treasure card from your discard pile into your hand. Two plus two power for each treasure card on it. When a treasure card on one of your minions goes to discard, place in your hand instead. Draw a treasure card or place a treasure from a discard pile into your hand. Play before base scores. Play a treasure card from the discard pile. Discard a number of cards. Draw one treasure card for each card. Place a top three from the treasure card deck into your discard pile. Play up to three treasure cards from your hand and extra cards. Play before base scores. Draw a treasure card. You may play it. And destroy an action. Play on a minion. If it's a treasure card, you may play it as an action. Now these are going to utilize the treasure cards quite a bit. So let's take a look at those next. This one allows you to play on a minion. All minions here get plus one power. Uh, place this card on the bottom of the treasure deck. Destroy a minion of power three or less. This minion has plus one power, one minion gains plus three, minion has a plus two, so these are all going to be modifiers. Uh, when another player, minion of power three or less is played, destroy the treasure and that minion. Minion has the ability talent, use the talent of another minion. When this minion goes to discard pile, place it in his owner's hand. This minion cannot be destroyed, has a plus one power, gain a victory point, place this card on the bottom of the treasure deck. Draw two treasure cards, shuffle this card, the treasure card, discard pile onto the treasure deck. Move this minion to another base. Minion has minus two and loses all his abilities. This will be one you'll attack somebody with. You may destroy a minion of power two or less. Play an extra minion. You may play a card from the treasure discard pile. Choose a base and a player. That player moves one of his or her minions from that base to another. Destroy an action or a minion on a base. Play after scored. Base treasures are revealed, but they are distributed. Place one of these treasures into your hand. All minions there get plus two. Then they turn cancel the abilities of all cards on the base or minion. So that's how this set is going to work. This is going to be what I call a supplemental one. One you're going to want to use to elevate the others. Next we'll see the elves. Give all their players here plus one until the end of the turn. You may give another player control this minion until it leaves play. You take control of one of that player's minions of power three or less until it leaves play. It's a flower child. Another player of your choice draws a card. Draw a card. After another player plays a minion, you may place a plus one power counter on it to place a plus one power counter on one of your minions here. Play before base scores. If you have a minion there, choose another player. That player gets plus two total power. Your minion gets minus two. If that player is the winner, you get one of that player's victory points. 
Draw a random card from another player's hand and place it in yours. Then place this card in that player's hand. You may play an extra turn action this turn. Choose another player. That player chooses a minion to gain plus two until the end of the turn. You choose a minion to get plus three until the end of the turn. Pumping iron! Each other player draws a card. Draw a card for each player in the game, including yourself. After you, after you, after you. Play before base scores. If you have a minion there, move one of your minions to another player's minions from there to avoid the base. All players shuffle the discard piles in their deck. Draw a card. Play before base scores. Move any number of your minions from that base to another one. And play on one of your minions. Move this minion to another base. So this is going to be a good supplemental. You're going to be helping others, but hopefully helping yourself a little bit more. And that's how the elves are going to work. We will then take a look at the halflings. Also known as hobbits. If this is your minion, you may play an extra minion. If another, minion, if another player has more power here than you, you may play an extra minion here. You may play an extra minion. Play an extra minion on a base when another player has more power than you. You can see a lot of these pop up. Very easy to play. Play an extra minion on a base where you have no minions. Play on a base. After each time you play a minion here, draw a card. Play on a base. After each time you play a minion here, draw a card. Reveal your hand and play all minions into and that base as extra minions cancel their abilities. Play before base scores. Play a minion there. Cancel that minion's ability until the end of the turn. Reveal cards from the top of your deck and the two minions have been revealed. Place those minions in your shelf for the rest of the cards. Choose any number of minions from your discard pile, shuffle them, and place them on top of your deck. Your minions are not affected by other players' actions. When the minion goes to the discard pile, place on top of your deck. So, very, very helpful. I like the halflings quite a bit. So, let's take a look at the mages now. This is going to be a very popular deck. Discard a card, roll a card. You may discard a card to play an extra minion or action. Discard a card to give this minion plus two power until the end of the turn. Before the base scores, you may use this minion's talent. Discard a card to destroy a minion of power of two or less. Discard a card to play a monster. Play a monster on each base. Very powerful card. Take control of a monster and treat it as one of your minions until the end of the turn. Discard a card. Draw three. Choose a minion. Discarding a number of cards. The minion gets plus one power. Discarding a number of cards. Play an extra minion of power three or less. Draw until you have five cards. Great catch up there. Discard a card. Destroy a minion of power three or less. So this is a one where you'll be turning your deck, discarding cards, but hopefully getting more back in return. Next, we'll take a look at the orcs. This minion is not affected by other players' actions. Great defense. Destroy a minion of power 2 or less. Do nothing, but he's worth 5. Each of your other minions have plus 1 power. Play when a base scores. If you have at least 3 more power than the runner-up, gain a victory point. Choose a base, and a player has fewer minions there than you. Destroy one of that player's there. Each time another player plays a card, you may choose for your minions here not to be affected by it. Choose an action on a minion. Destroy that minion and transfer the action. Move one of your minions to a base where you have at least two minions. You may play this before a base scores. Place a minion of power, four or less, on the bottom of its owner deck. Play before base scores. If you have the highest total power here, other players cannot play. This minion is not affected by other players' actions. So a very good def what I find to be a good defensive deck right there. Let us take a look at the thieves. If there's another pickpocket here, draw a treasure card. Reveal any number of treasure cards from your hand. Place a plus one counter on this minion for each one you reveal. You may discard two treasure cards to gain a victory point. Draw a treasure card. When this base scores, add two treasure cards to the reward. Discard two treasure cards to gain one VP. Shelf your discard pile in your deck. Place this card on the bottom of your deck. Discard a treasure card to give somebody three power. After a base scores, if you have a minion there, the winner loses one victory point, and you gain a victory point. You steal it from them. Transfer an action played on a minion to one of yours. Choose a treasure card and play. Place it into your hand. Discard a treasure card to destroy a minion of power three or more. So lots of stealing going on here. Lots of stealing. So let's take a look at the warriors. You may play a monster here. That's a pretty good one right there. Very offensive. Destroy a monster here with power less than or equal to this minion to place a plus one counter on this minion. 
After a monster is destroyed here, place a plus one counter on this minion. Destroy a monster or play a monster. Destroy a monster. You may play any treasures you get from destroying its extra cards. Play a monster on a base or destroy a minion of power two or less. Play a minion. It has plus two for each monster. Choose a base. Play two monsters there or destroy all monsters there but do not collect any treasure cards. Each of your mission minions on a base has a monster against plus two. Destroy a monster to add its power to the base until the end of the turn. When this minion goes to discard bar, place it and this action to your hand instead. Play a new minion. This minion has a plus three. So that's going to be a very strong offensive type of one that you're going to have there. The last one will be the monster deck. One treasure, undead ongoing. This monster is plus one for each other undead. You can see the web troll, zero treasure, play another monster here. Three, one treasure, a ghoul, undead, ongoing. This monster is destroyed, place it on top of the monster deck. Hippogriff, place this, before this base scores, destroy a random non-monster minion of three power or less. Two treasures, undead, ongoing. After this base scores, the winner discards a card. Ongoing, if this is the only monster, it has three plus. Knight of the Living Dead, that's a nice pun. This monster is a plus one for each other monster, and the Plutonium Dragon, three treasures. At the end of each player's turn, destroy all minions here with two power or less. We will get some new uh, bases, the Coffers, the Thieves Guild, the Bastion, the Gauntlet, Hotel of Holiness, Wackagol, Dimension Doors, Mage's Tower, Treehouse, Helper's Hollow, the Mines, Treasure Bath 200, the Pits, not to be confused with the Arm Pits, Garrison, Birthday Party, yay! Subterranean Layer. Now you'll see that you get a lot in this box. There's eight as opposed to your normal four. Um, lots to do in this box and a lot to be added. So a little bit different in this I want to point out is the monsters and the treasure. Each of the decks here will tell you how many monsters will come out. When the monsters come out, uh, they will act as minions, and you'll have these out there. Now, if you beat these, then you can get the treasures. There's also other cards uh, for some of the decks that will trigger the treasure cards. The monsters and the treasures will be shuffled before the game starts and face down, so you don't know exactly what's going to come up. Now, Munchkin does add that little bit of an extra layer with the monsters and uh, the treasures into this deck. It's a little bit different. Now, I think this is probably my least favorite because I'm not really into the Munchkin. With that said, there's a lot of humor in this deck. I think the Thieves are really neat. I do like the Orcs, the Elves, the Clerics. And there's a lot going on here that I actually like and I don't even play Munchkin and really don't know too much about it. So this could be a nice standalone set. Also, you don't have to have the base game to play this one. This one you can play as, as an expansion. You can add it in or you can just leave it as its own game. So if you have a Munchkin fan, and you're looking to start with Smash Up, maybe this is the place that you would start. As for me, this is probably the least expansion, expansion that I would get, even though it has the most in the box. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel, lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching. And everybody else, keep playing games.